Hey, welcome back to Basic Grid on this channel with some fun educational tech. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can sign, how you can do your signature on a contract, on a PDF or a document or an image using an iPad. So you don't need to download any applications for this. This is built into the iPad. Uh, and I'm gonna show you using different file formats. So let's go ahead and do, um, I'll just start off with an image here. So if I go to an image, Okay, how do we sign an image? An image is really simple, straightforward, because when you do open up an image, you'll get this um, markup feature, okay? So you're just gonna do markup, and then from the markup, using your Apple Pencil, even using your finger, if you don't have access to an Apple Pencil, you can use your finger. I'm just gonna use the Apple Pencil, so I can just quickly just sign this up, choose the, the correct color that you want, black or blue or whatever, and then just sign it. Okay, so BS for Beard Squid. And I can just sign that document. You can see that that document has been signed. And then I can just press on done. And that's it, it's done. Now there's a better way of doing it actually. And I'm gonna show you in the second example, which is a PDF, okay? And we're gonna be using the same sort of feature here. So if I go to my PDF, this is a sample contract. This is a multiple page PDF. So here you can see there's several pages to this document. If I normally you want to sign at the bottom there's some contracts where you have to sign every single page okay um i can't i just signed my contract my employment contract i have to sign every single page and so you want to make sure that that signature is the same you're signing every single page so here look on a pdf pdf also has the markup feature you can just click on the markup feature and now we can just sign on this pdf now instead of signing like this on the pdf okay i'm just going to undo that we're going to create a signature so i'm going to press on the add button i'm going to look you can see here text signature magnifier and some of these tools i'm going to go and press on signature now i bet some of you didn't know this you can add a signature here so i'm going to go ahead and just write my signature i'll do a dummy signature of course there you go bs for beard squid and then i'm going to press on done now that's my signature i can show you here look this signature this signature now is saved in your actual signature. So I could go ahead and I can actually add that to each page if I really wanted to. And then on page two, I can bring that same signature in. Okay, so I can go to add signature and bring in that same signature. Now, let's say um, there's two of you, your spouse also has assigned this. You can add another signature here. So go to signatures, you can add and remove, add another signature. So I'm gonna go ahead and add another signature here. And this time I'm just gonna say whatever. Here we go, that's a signature. Okay, so you can add multiple signatures um, into this, uh, into the signature library, okay? And then of course I can, you know, go ahead and I can continue to go scroll through the pages, wherever I need to sign, I can go ahead and add my signature there. Now, once you press on done, PDF has been saved with the signature. So if I go back into it now, it embeds, it flattens the signatures into the PDF. Okay, that's good. So images and PDFs are fine. The third um, file format that you might have might be a Microsoft Word, might be a Google Doc, it might be Pages. So they all work the same way. Uh, so if I click on this, performance contract, it opens up the performance contract in the respective program. So this has opened it up in Microsoft Word. Now, I can actually draw on Microsoft Word because Microsoft Word has a draw feature. However, I want to include my signature for my signature library. How do I do it? Well, I can't do it here because it doesn't work. Now, what I can do is if I take a screenshot of this page, now I don't actually need to open this up. If I go back to my files, let's say someone's emailed you a Word doc and you don't have a, uh, you know, a subscription to Word, what do you do? What you can do is if I right click on this and I just do a quick look, it opens up the contract in quick look. It hasn't actually opened it up in Word or um, you know, pages or docs. It's just done it as a quick look in, it's actually still actually in the file system, okay? Um, Apple's files application. From here, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a screenshot. Now, the way I like to do a screenshot is just pull in from any of the corners, bottom two corners. And as I've taken that screenshot, I've got an option here to go full screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and press on full screen. It shows me that I've got two pages of this contract. And now from here, I'm gonna go ahead and click on uh, my add button, add signature, and I'm gonna add my signature here. Now this is like I said, a dummy signature, but I'll add the signature there. And once I press on done, it's gonna save this. It's gonna ask me to save it as a PDF. So I can save it as a PDF. And that's been saved as a PDF. I can go ahead and show you that. Open up 
this and I've signed, look, I've signed here at the bottom of this performance contract. So what if you had a physical contract that you needed to sign? It says, you know, you need to sign my employment contract here. What do I do here? Well, simple, what you can do here is if you go to the native file app, so just go to your file app here. And actually, if you click on the three dots, I could go ahead and I can scan a document. So now I can scan a document. I'm gonna save it. So I've saved that document. And then from here, I could obviously go ahead and mark up, add my signature and then sign this document and then press on done. And that has, if I go back into it, you can see signed my document. You can pretty much sign any file format using this feature. I hope you found that helpful. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one.